the eternal reward. Amen. The gift of understanding. Come, O spirit of understanding, and enlighten our minds, that we might know and believe all the mysteries of salvation, and my merit at last to see the eternal light of the light, and in the light of glory to have a clear vision of thee, the Father and the Son. So let's go to do the, the, the next prayer. And we want to ask our Lord Jesus Christ for Marianne Stein, and God bless her, protect her. And we want to ask especially for Pete Stein, that he got an accident. So we want to ask our Lord Jesus Christ for a soon recovery. And we want to ask our Lord Jesus Christ for the person who died in that accident, that the Lord have mercy for his soul, then can arrive to heaven. And we want to ask a special protection for all the family staying. So let's go to put it the armor of God to the family staying. Jesus is in front of them. Jesus in the back, in the left, in the right, in the top, in the bottom, and in their heart. So let's go to do another prayer of Sister Faustina. It's the last one that we have over here. And let's go to ask our Lord Jesus Christ. And he filled us with the power of the Holy Spirit. So we always can do God's will because that is the most important thing to do, doing God's will. Okay. Bring to me the souls who have become lukewarm and immerse them in the abyss of my mercy. These souls wound my heart. Amen, amen, hallelujah. I think maybe I went very fast today to pray because we still have some time. So let's go to talk a little bit. If you have any questions, you can send me questions. You can send me the text. I want to share with you that Jesus, he shared with us his life. He shared with us his suffering. And he shared with us his joy too and his and his glory. So one time I was in the Blessed Sacrament praying. And guess what I was praying? I was praying the Divine Mercy. And when I am praying the Divine Mercy, the Lord took me in a very deep praying that in a moment I was not dead in the chapel anymore. The Lord transformed me to, to the time of the Passion. And I was able to see Jesus carrying the cross and he was just carrying the cross. And there are the, the guys hitting him with the whips and i'm just praying and praying and praying that by mercy and asking mercy to the whole world so i am able to see jesus walking by in front of me but in then in a moment it's not jesus there anymore it's myself that get inside of jesus i don't know how to explain that one but i was inside of jesus and i was carrying the cross you know that was the body of jesus but i wasn't i don't know which way but i am but I'm inside of Jesus carrying the cross too. And when I am carrying the cross, one of the soldiers coming and whip it. And when he whip it, I, I screamed because I felt the pain in my back. And I screamed. That was good that I was along in the in the blessed sacrament. But I scream and I get out of the of the vision. You know, Jesus really, he shared with us everything. He shared with us his pain, but he shared with us too his glory. And like for his sharing his glory, he, he wanted that we we share with him everything that we're going through, that we be honest with him, that we tell him how do we feel. If we feel happy, we says, thank you, Lord, and we're happy. If we are sad, says, thank you, Lord, and we are sad, but you can help me to find out what is the root. Because sometimes the root of all the unhappiness is unforgiveness. So ask the way Lord Jesus Christ that he show you what person you haven't forgive. And then that he gave you the grace that you can forgive that person. Like for example, one time I was mad and upset with my husband and I didn't know exactly what is going on. And I feel like I just fighting and fighting, but I said, no, I'm not going to fight. So then I just get the car and go out and start to driving around. And then I, I guess I asked to the Lord why I'm, why I'm upset with my husband. And the Lord reminded me that I have unforgiveness of him. And then when the Lord reminded me what I was the thing that I was getting in my heart, I start to crying and I says, Lord, I do already forgive him for that. I do already forgive him for that. But you know, we sometimes forgive persons, but we still have the hurt and then I remember God made me that I remember the scripture on the Bible that says that by the wound of Jesus, we got healed. So then I start to say, by the wound of Jesus, I got healed. By the wound of Jesus, I get healed. And I keep on going saying that Lord, I already forgive him. And by the wound of Jesus, I got healed. 
And, you know, it's very cool because I was driving. I'm just driving, driving, and I'm crying and asking to the Lord uh, for the wing of, for the wound of Jesus. I got healed. And then the Lord made me the, the grace that I was able to have a vision. Even I was driving, I was able to see the vision and see the, the, the road. And then I saw that in my heart, there was a crack. And in that crack, I saw that Jesus coming with a needle and a, a string. And he started to sewing in and putting together. And when he finished to put it together, my heart was complete healed. And guess what? The vision was over. And then I have in my heart a different point of view. And, I, and he really healed my heart. Today, the Lord wants to heal your heart. So just give it that pain that you are carrying, that unforgiveness that you are carrying. Just give it to our Lord Jesus Christ right now. So I'm going to pray a little bit in tongues until the program is over so you can give it up to Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we want to ask you in the name of Jesus Christ and by the wound of Jesus, all my brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching this program, that the wound that they have in their heart, they can be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sunday at 11 30. Remember, we are in the channel 16 and channel 10 and 11 of cable. And we are in Facebook and in YouTube. So God bless you and protect you. You are the light of the world. Go to shine. Go to shine. Bye. Today, I am sending you with my mercy to the people of the whole world. I do not want to punish aching mankind, but I desire to heal it, pressing it to my merciful heart. You are the secretary of my mercy. I have chosen you for that office in this and the next life, to make known to souls the great mercy that I have for them and to exhort them to trust in the bottomless depth of my mercy.